Hi, this is David Clausen, and I'm going to show you how you can write on any website or on the screen using Camtasia. So what you do is you hit Control Shift D, and I'll pull up the box right here that shows you. It's going to give you the ability to do this screen draw. So you click Screen Draw, and then these icons come out. I'll start with the pen. So you click the pen and now I can write hello. Okay. Simply with the pen or you can circle something or you can underline or write anything you want on the screen. By clicking this circle now I can put a circle around something I want. Here you can highlight. Here you can make a blue box. Now keep in mind, the minute you click this icon right here, it all goes away and then you'll have a regular cursor that you can use to go to different web pages. So screen draw, that's how I do it with websites. Um, I'm going to hit stop here in a second and then uh, I'll pick up in the Camtasia editor so I'll show you some few other features that I use from Camtasia that you can use. So hold on just one second. Okay, I'm back and all you have to do to get to this screen is hit save and edit and uh, you'll be right there. So one thing I do a lot being an ESL teachers, being an ESL teacher is I'll hit captions. So to do that you're going to click where it says more, go down to captions, I'll click that and you can just click speech to text. So I'm going to click speech to text and I'll enter the entire timeline and you might have to train your computer at first. It takes about 10 minutes. You'll speak to it and then it becomes uh, accustomed to your voice. So once you do that you'll hit continue and now it's going to prepare the audio for transcribing. It does a pretty good job. Uh, I find sometimes it gets some complicated phrases and words but other times it misses it quite a bit. So um, if you put in captions it will uh, add to your uh, lesson time. It takes you know I have to go through the whole video and uh, it takes a good amount of time. So it's doing it now and now you can see here are the captions and it lines it up really well with your voice. I'm just kind of scrolling through. So to change it, like right here, I put on here, I'll put, hi, this is David Clausen, and I'll change the S, and you can just change it like that. I'm going to show you how you can write, okay? So you can scroll down, let's say you want to change this one, and I'll hit enter, and you can now hear I it. can. Now I can, that sounds right. And it'll go through, circle around something I want. That got, here you can, here highlight. can highlight. So I got that pretty here well. Here you can make a blue box. So hearing to make a blue box, but I put here. Here, R-E, you can uh, delete that. And then there it's correct. So that pretty well does captions. If I need to highlight something, I'll click zoom and pan and what that does is it will focus in on a certain area. Let's say I want to focus on right here. So that allows me to focus in the camera to where the listener or the viewer can see it much better. So zoom and pan is great and then you have these call outs. You'll click that and they have a whole bunch of different call outs. You got a red arrow here. You can do blue. So let's just try the uh, red arrow and if I want to focus in on something I'll put the, let's say I'll put the red arrow towards the hello and so when I hit play here you can make the a uh, box red yellow now keep arrow in mind pulls up. the minute you click and then it'll just slowly go away this icon right and here. there are tutorials from Camtasia that show you how to do a lot of these special features. I just wanted to show you how quickly I can pop it in by doing captions, zoom and pan, certain callouts to uh, do this. Now when I'm done with um, 
the video and I want to upload it to YouTube, I generally click on HD MP4 only. I'll click on that and I'll save it to my hard drive on my computer and then I'll upload it to YouTube. You can hit the YouTube button and that's fine, but sometimes every now and then it doesn't quite work and then I don't have the file on my computer and then it takes a long time to, um, to upload it. So I find usually by putting on my computer first, then go to YouTube and upload it, it tends to work a little bit faster, but you know, you'll have to figure out what works best for you. So that's basically how you can draw on your computer screen using the screen draw feature. You got the other features like captions, zoom and pan and call outs that can really add to your uh, video lesson. So thanks for your time. I hope that gives you an idea of what you can do with Camtasia. Take care. Bye-bye.